Reporting to you live from Kevin's Kitchen. What do you got going on today, Kevin? Today we're making homemade butter. Hey. Yep. This is all you need for homemade butter. You need a jar with a lid, mason jar, and then some whipped cream. And like always, if you can get anything farm fresh, by all means get it. It'll be a hundred times better. But anyway, store-bought stuff, whatever. Okay, one of these will give you about at least two sticks of butter. I used half of this when I made some uh, uh, fondue the other day, chocolate fondue. So anyway, I'm going to use this to show you all real quick how to make homemade butter. And then, of course, like I always say, I need salt in everything. I like salt in my butter. So put your little salt in there, however much you want. Doesn't matter. You're going to pour your whipped cream in there. I like it room temperature. Doesn't what kind have of to cream be you got there? Just heavy, heavy whipping? whipping cream. If you can okay. get it at the farm fresh, that's the best way. Um, forgot what I said. But anyway, put the lid on, and all you do is start shaking. And I'm not lying. you got to shake for about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start shaking to show you. Then we'll cut out, come back right before it starts gelling up so I can show you the last minute of it because it really happens fast when it starts. Anyway, homemade butter. All right. Reporting back at you from Kevin's Kitchen. All right, y'all. This is about three minutes in. You can already see how thick it's already starting to get. Oh, my okay? goodness. Okay. So, I'm just going to show y'all because I meant to shake it earlier. And I forgot. So, anyway, the last minute or two is when all the trick happens. So, you shake. You know, when you start out, it's real runny. Ooh. And you can hear it. It's just getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And it, you do get tired. But, it'll be worth it. Just keep on shaking. And you'll see here. Just wow. Like, okay. And look, you can see right there that air bubble. I don't know if you can see it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's when it's fixing to start. Awesome. Now we got to separate everything. Here it goes. It doesn't take long once you start sandwich airs in there now. Oh my word. Okay. It's hard to shake. This is why they had those tools back then that you get you, 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 you crank. Right. Okay. So now you see how much is in there. Okay. Ooh. So really we need a little bit bigger of a jar. And I'm gonna transfer it real quick. Now, uh, the reason being, we need more air, and we need more air because it's going to separate the, the the buttermilk from it. So, let me switch it over, and we'll be right back. Reporting to you live, Kevin's Kitchen. We are making butter. Okay. We well, should have started with a jar this size. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know what I said. I thought I had a lot less in there. <laughs> I had more than I had. Anyway, you need all that air in there so you can get it to go. Don't use one of these small ones. Use a bit. Just start shaking. So, that's what we're going to do. And you watch. Just watch here. See it? A lot of work, huh? Yeah, but you can get you one of those deals. You know, it spins it. Here we go. Start seeing moisture come. Keep shaking. Look at that. That's what I want. See that buttermilk? Oh. Watch. Keep going. Just keep going a minute. Once it gets to the release of that buttermilk, <clears throat> now we're making butter. I should have had it in a bigger jar. Just real quick. This right here, if you need buttermilk, homemade buttermilk right there. Straight up buttermilk right there. Nice. You make buttermilk biscuits. And then here you go, watch. <clears throat> you use a Spider-Man. <laughs> right here. Bam. Homemade butter. Dang. Just like that. You drain it off. But you got to shake, shake, shake now. I ain't kidding. And look. And what was creamy, up now? Is that, do you have to put salt or anything? Butter. You already put the salt in it? I put salt in. I like salted butter. You don't, look, I'm all tired. If you don't want salt, don't put salt in. Right. That's simple. Look. That all came out of a half of a carton. Wow. So you get about two sticks per carton. Yeah. And the best butter, creamy, so wonderful on breads. Mm. Peace out, homemade butter. You can see right here, 
Got a nice little batch of buttermilk. I may even teach y'all how to make buttermilk biscuits. Save that for tomorrow. But anyway, so nice. I'll show you. Look how yummy. Look. Creamy butter. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That's what I'm talking about right there. And I wager to say those jellies, you made those too. Okay, now we gotta show you something. Look here. That bunch of them here to tease you with. Mm -hmm. What kind's that? Peach jam. Peach. Here's the here. pear butter. With ginger. Nice. That is going to be good on these. Right here, look. So good. That's some good stuff right there. Yummy. All homemade. Look here. Here's my cherry limeade. Cherry limeade jelly. Look, can you smell jam. it? Smell it. Ooh. Look here. Muscadine. Grow my own muscadines and I make my own. I make my own. I grow my own peaches, make my own jellies and jams, and I grow my own grapes and muscadines. And I do it. Same with the, the pear butter. Good old muscadine. So tasty. Look here. Nice Gosh. and milky. I guess that means I gotta eat four of these. Just okay. kidding. Right here. You put some of that on there. <laughs> Yum. Eve. Get you some. I know. I'm ready to do that. Over now. <laughs>